Hey ladies and gents, intelligent people all around the world, I'm still heavily burnt out. We're in the end game now. I give us three to five years of somewhat normalcy, and then the riots and violence. I'm with you, Ricky. Putin deploys nuke bombers off Scottish border while massing 100 warships in NATO warning. This doesn't sound great. He flew nuclear-capable bombers off the Scottish coast in an apparent warning to NATO amid setbacks in Ukraine. 40 warships to the Baltic Sea. I repeat, 40 warships performing war games involving around 3,500 service personnel as well as 25 aircraft. Okay. Meanwhile, NATO members may send troops, Ukraine warns former alliance chief. A group of NATO countries may be willing to put troops on the ground in Ukraine if member states, including the U.S., do not provide tangible security guarantees to Kiev and the alliance, alliance's summit in the Vilnius, the former NATO secretary general. Okay, so this isn't World War III at all. It's something else entirely. Because wildfires are still burning out of control in Canada, affecting air quality down here. Every day it's something. It's something. Carbon dioxide soars to a record in Earth's atmosphere as climate change continues unabated. The beat goes on. Record high last month. Further into a territory not seen for millions of years, we're setting a new record. That's three parts per million more than last year's May average. Huh? Who cares? Right? Because Andrew Tate said we'll be fine. We'd like to see this curve plateauing and even falling because carbon dioxide is not good at 425 parts. We will not adapt. It's a massive experiment. We are absolutely at levels unseen in human civilization. University of Oklahoma Meteorology professor Jason Furtado said, Furtado Humans are running a massive experiment on Earth's climate system, burning carbon, and the results are turning out not great for a lot of people on this planet. According to NOAA, CO2 is higher than any time in the last 4 to 4.5 million years, when the atmosphere was 7 degrees warmer and the sea levels were 16 to 82 feet higher. On the front page of USA Today, don't even flinch. Go get your hamburger. Because... John Kerry says 10 billion people is unsustainable, but he's not going to tell you not to eat your hamburger. All right? So go spray paint the cars instead. SUVs in Bristol spray painted with climate change protests, along with Manchin. Go spray paint his face. I saw a protest recently. There's this girl crying. I feel her. Okay? I empathize. I was there. We were there years ago, pleading to have a future. But that doesn't exist. The Arctic will be gone. And there won't be new shipping routes because there will be hundreds of millions of people scrambling across the globe and nukes flying. We are sending troops on the ground in Ukraine, okay? Ice-free summer's inevitable, even with sharp emission cuts. And likely to result in even more extreme heat waves and floods. Forget your food supply. Eat bugs. It's too late now. To save summer Arctic sea ice, research has shown preparations need to be made for increased extreme weather across the northern hemisphere that is likely to occur as a result. Since 1979, summer Arctic sea ice has shrunk by 13% a decade, one of the clearest signs of the climate crisis. Unfortunately, it has become too late to save the Arctic summer sea ice. As scientists, we've been warning about the loss of Arctic ice for decades. This is now a major component of the Earth system that we are going to lose because of global warming. People didn't listen to a warning. This is, brings another warning bell. The kind of projections that we made for other components of the Earth system will start unfolding in the decades to come, says Professor Dirk Knotts of the University of Hamburg in Germany. According to this new research outpacing the IPCC, the IPCC concluded that we might lose some ice in the 2040s with high intermediate and high emission scenarios but new research advances that by decades into the 2030s or faster how much faster way faster triple record days record sea surface temperatures and we're not even into a full el nino yet this happened five days of the past two weeks the arctic is melting fast too global net in 
flux of energy. There's a lot of additional energy going into the ocean. Carbon dioxide soars. Unpredictability with uh, El Nino, we could completely lose coral reefs and food supply for billions of people. And heat waves and hottest day on record and worst ever wildfire season and we're not even in wildfire season in the states we didn't have to wait long look at the north atlantic sea surface temperature anomaly that rich guy mr jacobson in california putting a tweet out about that all right all right done three to five years of somewhat normal extreme weather events and then food supply Trillions of dollars, trillions of calorie deficit, pandemonium. Load your magazines. Is it even worth it to survive? I mean, is it going to be fun? No, if I get an infection, it's going to suck. Okay, it's going to suck. But there is no retirement fund. There is no IRA, 401k. Your savings are bullets and beans. Canned foods. Thank you for tuning in. June 7th, we're in the end game. I'll talk to you soon.